So I was watching Mr. Who's the Boss's video where he tours Mr. Beast's studio. <laughs> Should I change my name to Mr. Sad? Anyway, during that video, the misters said... So I have an editing question for you, actually. You've got the most ridiculous camera gear available to you. Why is it that after all that, you still export in 1080p? I don't like the way high quality footage looks. I don't ever want things to feel too produced. This guy over there has millions of dollars worth of equipment, yet he chooses to upload his videos in lower resolution. Meanwhile, I'm over here spending money I don't have getting chewed out by my wife just so I can upload in crispy 4K resolution. Oh, what's going on? The best YouTuber in the world only uploads in 1080p. What am I even doing? What's important? Look, we can agree that content is the most important thing, right? Every video needs a story, but where is the line when it comes to quality? Is there one? especially when it comes to YouTube videos. Does quality matter on your channel and will it affect your growth? That's what I wanna talk about today. Because I have literally convinced myself that shooting in 4K is necessary for me to grow my channel. I spent a lot more money than maybe I needed to. Has it all been in vain? Shooting and uploading in high quality reflects how we want to be perceived, right? And if you're a professional videographer or photographer, people will judge you based on the quality of your content. So shooting in high quality matters for some creators. Just because Mr. Beast's channel is uploading at 1080p doesn't mean his videos don't still benefit from shooting in 4K or higher resolutions. He has incredible gear and it does make a big difference. I've been learning about things like chroma subsampling and it's really interesting. If you don't know what that is, I'll link a video in the description if you wanna learn. But the more I'm learning, the more I'm questioning how much uploading in 4K really matters when the rest of your gear isn't on the same level, especially for anyone who's not a professional like me. In my last video, I showed you what aiming to shoot in 4K looks like when you have crappy lighting and a bad lens. It's what happens when you spend all of your budget on a camera and nothing else. Noob mistakes. Shooting in 4K is like buying a giant engine for your car. If your car can't handle it, what's the point? More on that in a minute. I guess I always assumed that if my videos look high quality, people will subconsciously enjoy my content more because I've taken extra effort to make it look good instead of really focusing on the story. I'm sure we can all agree more interesting content with better stories will grow a channel faster than just having high quality 4K content and no substance. So let's quickly talk about search engine optimization. Making good videos is one thing, having people find those videos is another. I always thought if my competition and I had the same video but mine is in 4K and theirs is in 1080p, YouTube would place me higher up due to providing their customers a nicer experience. While that might be true, I can tell you after all of my testing, ultimately, I don't think any of that matters when it comes to growing a YouTube channel. Click-through rate, and average view duration are up here with importance for ranking. Quality of the video is down here. If you wanna grow a YouTube channel, you need to get your priorities straight. I'm going to deep dive into SEO for YouTube in the future, so be sure to sub to the channel so you don't miss that. I'm running all kinds of experiments, which I think will be really interesting to talk about later. Another thing to be mindful of is, when looking at the analytics between my two channels, on average over 50% of my content is being watched on phones, 25% on computers, 15% on TVs, then 10% on tablets. I would bet at least 85% of my audience is watching my videos on screens that are smaller than this, with over half of all my viewers watching them on screens this big. And let's be honest, it's hard to tell the difference between 1080p and 4K on a small screen. I guess the question really becomes, is it worth spending all the extra money on an amazing 4K camera when most of your audience won't notice a big difference in quality? Will those viewers watching on a big screen not watch your content if it's only in 1080p but has a great story? The answer is, of course they will watch it. Look at Mr. Beast. So how much of a difference is there in quality between 4K and 1080p? I wanted to find out. I recorded two videos, one in 4K, one in 1080p. I then rendered each video in 4K, then again in 1080p. Then I watched all four videos on my 55 inch OLED TV and the results surprised me. Both the 1080p and 4K video I rendered in 1080p looked roughly the same, not great on a big screen. But the 1080p video I recorded then rendered to 4K looked a lot better than both the other videos rendered in 1080p. And then lastly, my 4K video I rendered in 4K really did look the best by quite a lot, I'm not gonna lie. 
And that's when I'm standing right at the screen. Sitting at a normal distance away, I was really quite impressed with how well the 1080p video looked when I rendered it and uploaded it to YouTube in 4K. After doing those tests, if I was buying camera gear today for a new YouTube channel and was on a budget, I would no question buy older, better gear, shoot in 1080p, then just export those videos to 4K. Because I do think uploading in 4K is better. For fun, let me ask you, because I know a lot of my audience is really smart with this stuff, if you were shooting talking head videos like this with some B-roll, would you rather have a full frame camera like the Sony a7 II with a nice fast prime lens, great lighting, and shoot in 1080p? Or would you rather have an APS-C camera like the a6600 with a f2.8 zoom lens, small LED lighting, and shoot in 4K? I'm really curious to what others think, so please leave your comment below. Because I was all about that 4K crispiness. That's what I considered the most important thing when I began on YouTube and I spent a lot of time and money trying to get really sharp images. I love a high quality sharp image. However, lighting a 4K scene properly when you are a noob and don't know what the proper gear is, that's a lot harder than I thought. Even though Mr. Beast only uploads in 1080p and proves high quality ultimately doesn't matter, I think most people do benefit in uploading in 4K, even though they don't need to record in 4K. I guess I'm saying if you can afford it, and if you know what you're doing, I think you should absolutely record and upload in 4K. It does look the best. I watch a lot of YouTube on my 55 inch TV before I go to bed, and I personally appreciate high quality. I wish Mr. Beast did upload his videos in 4K, that would be awesome. But if you are starting out and don't know a lot about bit rates or chroma subsampling, and you just wanna push record to start cranking out nice looking videos on your YouTube channel, get yourself an older full frame camera with a nice wide aperture lens, get some big lights, and start shooting in 1080p. Then render those videos in 4K, they'll look great. At the end of the day, does it matter if you upload in 4K? Arguably the most successful YouTuber on the planet uploads his videos at 1080p, so obviously it doesn't matter if you upload in 4K. But if you want your channel to reflect the quality of work you are capable of, then yeah, it will make a difference. I just wanna make sure you don't make the same mistake I did in the beginning and obsess about 4K when you don't know anything about lighting or composing a scene. Once you've mastered those things, then you can chase the 4K dragon and start spending all your pesos on that expensive gear. But if you want to be successful, you need to get your priorities straight. In my last video, I talked about how I got suckered into chasing the dream of creating high quality 4K videos and not having the right lighting to come close to getting the results I wanted. Be sure to watch that video next so you don't waste years of your life like I did not getting a beautiful shot. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate the support and help growing my channel. See you next time on the Sad Studio. Hey guys. I'm Allie and I'm a kid. FYI. That's my dad. His name's Evan. <laughs>